Welcome back. We're going to check out this persistence rate and our trend quality and our trend periods and our trend noise balance. All of these together work pretty well. We could say harmoniously. All right, let's get rid of our percent B scan. Let's go find uh, some of our gap up scans. And we've got Acer here. This looks very interesting. Okay. And a Vanguard. ADVOF. That's an OTC. That's an OTC. That's an OTC. This is NYSE. Okay. I like that. Flow. That's the SPX flow. All right. These are some pretty good examples. And I like seeing our trend quality here. It seems a good trend quality scan might possibly be able to find you know, a move like this. And of course, if we combine that on, you know, this one hour time frame with a 52 weekly low, one, two, you know, uh, let's say within five bars or looking back five bars. What else can we see here? I'm looking at this uh, trend noise. And let's pull up something like, oh, I think Tesla will have a bunch of chartings on it. No? OK. Yes, it does. OK. Let's go and look at IMV. Yeah, so this trend noise balance, uh, even if the trend is coming down or going up, you know, this seems to just be uh, maybe denoting a uh, strong trend. So you might even be able to refer to the trend noise balance, you know, as uh, a form of a trend check there. You know, this trend persistence rate. Let's go down here. Looks like we can change our average type. That's fun. Now it wants.
wants to pop up with things. Let's check out now V which is nanovibronics. Interesting. <laughs> 